hey everyone! I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the IGK at home hair color in the shade Strawberry Kiss. So I've been wanting to go strawberry blonde for quite some time and I figured there is no better time than now because unfortunately Ion has discontinued my favorite hair color I've ever used in the shade of Honey Blonde. I have no idea why they discontinued it. But I'm very upset that they did because it was like my perfect dark blonde, but it was golden and so it had a lot of good color to it. It's basically the color it is right now. And um, it was just time for me to start trying a new hair color. So I figured, you know what? I want to go red. I wanted to for a while and I want more warmth in my hair. So we're definitely going to go with the strawberry blonde. I looked at strawberry blondes in every shade of every hair color that exists on the market, whether it is at the drugstore or at Sally's even on Salon Centric's website. And just none of the colors hit for me and I've really been drawn to the IGK Strawberry Kiss hair color. So in the following footage, I'm gonna show you guys my impressions of the IGK at home hair color in the shade Strawberry Kiss from unboxing to all the wonderful things that come in the kit and my final thoughts on it. So please watch ahead and you're gonna be able to see my review on the IGK at home hair color, including the application process. This is what the box looks like. It does say Strawberry Kiss. It's color 8C from IGK. And this does come with everything you need. I'm pretty excited to unbox it and open it up. So it does come with all these things right here. It comes with a protect color block to protect your forehead and your ears from getting color on them. And this is red, so it'll probably stay in my skin. Um, it also comes with their rich cream hair color and then the activate, which is going to be the developer that you mix together so that you get the hair color. Otherwise it won't activate and actually color your hair. And then there's also a post color treatment mask and then an erase five, which is a stain removing cleanser to use so that you can wash your forehead with it and any other area you may have dripped the hair dye on. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you guys what comes inside. And I'm sorry about the lighting in my bathroom. The lighting in our house is just horrible anyways, no matter what I do. So um, I am planning on hopefully getting some new LED lights pretty soon. So this is going to be the developer. This is the Activate. And then this is actually the cream hair color right here that you mix into the Activate bottle. It does come with some nice gloves, it looks like. I usually get them from Sally's, but these actually look just like the ones I buy from Sally's. They're my favorite. They fit really well, and they make it easy to work through your hair. And then there is the Protect, which is a color block to put on before, and I will use all of these to show you guys how they work. Um, the Erase, which is what we'll remove to clean with anything that we've got stayed afterwards. And this is the post color treatment mask. So I will put this on my hair as well to see how this does afterwards, after I've been coloring it. I do like this. Um, the box actually opens up and this has all the instructions inside of it. So it comes undone right here on this side, it looks like. It just kind of pops open. And then, oh, there is like a sticker on the bottom. So I've got to remove this. And they're pretty good. Okay. And then this does just open up. So I'm going to put the protect on. Step two is to actually um, squeeze the entire two of the color rich cream into the activate bottle and I'm going to shake it up until it's all mixed up really good. And then once that is all ready, then I'm going to put the gloves on and I'm going to work my hair one quadrant at a time. I'm just going to apply it the way that I always do, which I will show you guys how I apply it, but I will kind of speed that up so it's not long and boring for you to watch. Um, and then after that, once it's coated with color, then I'm going to massage the color into my scalp so I don't miss any strands. I did buy three bottles because my hair is really long and I really pray that that's enough to color it. Um, and after all your hair is coated, then you're going to clip it away from your face and neck and I'm going to let it process for 45 minutes. It says um, that's the longest processing time and I'm just going to leave it on for the full time because it's a red and I really want my hair to take it. So um, give me just a moment and I'm going to get started and I'll put those clips in once I start coloring it. Oh, and just to let you guys know, I did brush through all of my hair before starting because I obviously need to be able to work through it without having any tangles in it so that I can quickly move through it to get the color in so it doesn't take too long. And it does take me a while to do my own hair, but I've been doing my own hair for years. So, all right, we'll get started in just a second here. If you've never colored your own hair at home before, this does have a pointy thing right here on the cap. And you go ahead and you untwist this and you do puncture it 
just kind of push it in there, make sure it's there till the cream's coming out. Take the tip off because if you put this in here and you leave this tip on, this bottle will explode from the pressure once it starts activating. The activation will make it explode. I've actually accidentally had it happen before and it's not a fun mess to clean up. I'm gonna squeeze this in here, all of the color. And I'm just gonna do one bottle at a time. So I don't want it to be activated and sit for too long. So I am just going to do it one bottle, then I'll mix up the second one when I'm ready for it after I apply all this. And I do have that all in here. All right. And now I'm going to put the cap on. And we're just going to shake this until it's activated. just a little bit on me if that happens sometimes that's why you wear a crappy old shirt that you don't give a shit about getting ruined so that's what I suggest especially because this is red so and any hair color is gonna stain your clothes if you do blonde it's gonna bleach your clothes so I always wear an old crappy t-shirt and I am gonna go ahead and do the protect now and I'm just gonna put this around just my forehead and like my ears because I don't want to get it around my face And this is like, ooh, it's like a, a gel, like a clear gel. So it kind of feels like Vaseline, actually. That's probably what it is. It's just a barrier cream, but that's okay because it's going to keep it from getting all over me. So and it feels like it'll be fairly easy to wash off. So I have gotten it all over me. So I'm literally just going to put it like all around here. Just like anywhere around my face that my hair is going to touch. All right. And now um, this does say to apply it from the back, but that's really hard for me to do because I am doing my own hair. So I'm just going to start in the front and work my way around. I've done that for years. So I think it's going to be okay. I'm just going to squeeze it. I'm just going to start rubbing it in. On both sides. All right, and I'm just gonna continue to work this all through my hair and I will come back once my hair is completely coated. I did wanna show you guys the gloves. They do fit my hands really nicely. Um, I'd say they're a size small probably. So they are a little um, tight, but I like them snug because then I can move better to work through my hair. And I do use, oh, I already had it out, a wide tooth comb to move through my hair as I go as well to make it easier to get my roots. So I do suggest using that while you're doing it also. So the color is really rich and creamy. I will say that it does spread really nice so far. Um, it has activated now. You can kind of see it has like a purple tinge to it, which is from it being the copper strawberry blonde color. So I am just kind of like squeezing it in. I'm trying to get all my roots right now and then I'm gonna work through to my actual like lengths and my ends. So we're just gonna keep kind of going through. Um, so far, I do really like it, and it doesn't stink. This actually doesn't have a smell at all, which I was kind of worried about. I really don't like it when the products smell like a lot of chemicals, and they're really stinky. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with the way it's spreading, but we're going to wait and see how the color turns out, because that's going to be the real damn test. So, we'll see. All right, guys, and I have succeeded in covering all of my hair. Really make sure as you go through each strand to just do like a small section. It takes time, but you really want to make sure that you're going in and you're getting all of your hair, including all of your hair. Squeeze as much of it as you can. Always use more than you think you should because you don't want to have zebra striped hair. It's not in right now, and I know that I hate that look myself. I do look ridiculous. I did get it all over myself and make a giant mess, but this is a perfect time to go ahead and test out our erase. So this says to saturate a cotton cloth with stain removing cleanser, gently dab and wipe stained areas of the skin or work surface. So I'm gonna go grab that, I'll be right back. All right, and I did go ahead and put that on my cloth and oh, 
it works really good. It's removing literally like all the hair color off my neck, off my face. It's all over this. So yeah, that actually works really, really good. I'm very impressed with the erase. And I'm just gonna keep going around and getting this all off of me. And I will be back to show you guys the final result once I am done. All right, stay tuned. All right, lovelies, I did just get out of the shower and I blow dried my hair and I definitely love the color. I think it's a perfect strawberry blonde. Um, the color washed out really nicely in the shower. The conditioner actually was really nice. Um, probably not like the absolute best, but it smelled amazing and my hair feels really soft. So it did definitely condition it. Um, but it is this perfect, beautiful strawberry blonde color and I love how even it is. Um, I was sure to really lighten up my roots a little bit more, but for an at-home color, I think it did an excellent job. And obviously I have to recolor my roots again the next time that I do it, but they also won't be as bad because I won't be letting my hair go for as long. I was just trying to get it um, a little less damaged before I put some more color through it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but I'm really happy with the at-home IGK Strawberry Blonde Hair Color, and I will definitely be reordering the Strawberry Kiss. It was totally worth a $28 box. 